Okay, so I want to tell a little story about this guy I was in the army with. His name was Ewald. Michael Ewald. And, you know, this is another edition my long series about all the shitbags I served with. Should have never gotten past the recruiter and gotten in the army to begin with. But this is 2007. They were letting in basically everybody that wasn't a corpse. If you could breathe and you could walk, you were in. Especially in artillery. Is this guy from Texas. He's really funny looking. He had these big ass Dumbo ears. He had a face like Alfred E. Newman on the Mad Magazine cover. And he was just a total fucking moron. And I was in basic with him. And we had this guy named Barheit. This guy from Colorado. And Barheit was a nice kid. I always kind of liked him, but. He could be really, really annoying and just get under people's skin sometimes. Like, people want to punch this kid in the mouth. And he's also a little bit of an elitist. And Ewald's kind of like white trash. He said he's from Texas. And one day, while we're in the barracks cleaning our weapons, our M4s, uh, they get in an argument. And Barheit calls Ewald like a piece of white trash. And Ewald picks up a metal bolt that goes in your rifle... And tosses it at Barheit's head. And it misses his head by like half an inch. <clears throat> and then he tackles Barheit to the floor and starts strangling the shit out of him. It took like ten people to pull him off. And Barheit, this fucking pussy, goes and calls the MPs on Ewald. And the MPs went and arrested him. First of many arrests in the army and times in jail. And you want to talk about a first class pussy snitch? You know you're a pussy when later that night he didn't have, he didn't call the MPs a second time when people were still fucking with him, right? And making fun of him. He had his fucking mom call them. He calls his mom, who's at home in Colorado, cries to her about it, and then his mom calls the MPs. And this MP comes in at like 3 o'clock in the morning to talk to us. And the MP's not pissed at uh, Ewald. No, he's pissed at Barheit and Barheit's mom. He goes, you know what? We got a fucking job to do out here at Fort Sill. We have real calls to respond to. We have actual crimes. We had a call tonight about a soldier that wanted to have sex with his five-year-old daughter and couldn't help himself. So he called us and turned himself in. And we got these pussy soldiers... Mom's calling us about nothing? If you ever call us back in here again for this, we're going to kill you! And then P walks out. So Ewald goes on the Fort Drum with me, and he's in my unit and my battery. Right For the couple of years he was in, we were, we were together the whole time. Now, this motherfucker was a kleptomaniac from hell. He would steal anything that wasn't basically bolted to the floor. There were a bunch of times where soldiers caught him, like, stealing things out of their rooms in the barracks. And, and he would try to act like he wasn't doing anything. It, it was just ridiculous. But the best one was probably when we were at West Point. Now, when I said this guy's retarded, this is what I mean. So, uh, this soldier had some money missing, right? Like, he had cash in the pocket of his shorts. And now the money's gone. And who's the first person they look for? Ewald. So the NCOs corner Ewald. And they're like, Ewald, we know you took that guy's fucking money. Give it up. So Ewald pulls some bills out of his pocket. Now, meanwhile, the kid he stole from had just come out of the lake or whatever. And the money was still in his pocket. And it was like dripping wet. He's like dripping wet $20 bills. Like, Ewald, where'd you get the money from? It's mine. No, it's not. Where'd you get it? I got it out of an ATM. Really? You got wet money out of an ATM. And no one believed that was possible. But just to show Ewald he was full of shit, one of the NCOs goes and calls a bank. And the person at the bank, they asked the person at the bank, um, sir, can you get wet money out of an ATM? And the guy's like, fuck no. If there's a single drop of water in an ATM, the entire machine immediately shuts down like automatically, and a technician has to go and service it. 
And then they look at Ewald and they're like, you're a fucking moron, Ewald. Start pushing. Doing push-ups. And this guy was also a raging drug addict, too. A habit which followed him into the army. And this guy was shooting heroin. I am not kidding. Shooting heroin in the army. And, you know, we have to be drug tested all the time. Sometimes as much as twice in a month. And usually the threshold to fail a drug test in nanograms, nanograms per milliliter, is like 200, 300. And you need 200 to piss hot for weed or whatever. So this guy's test results come back. You know what he pissed? 400,000. I said 200? No, 400,000. And the people at the drug lab couldn't believe it. At first, they thought it was a mistake. So they test the sample again, and it comes out again, 400,000 nanograms. They didn't think it was possible because they figured you'd have to be dead to piss that hot. And uh, he actually hit the maximum because the machine wouldn't go any higher than that. Because like I said, anything over 400,000, you're a corpse. Somehow, Ewald wasn't. But... (laughs) Yeah, when that when that news got out, we were like, what the fuck? Like, what are you literally shooting up as you're pissing in a cup? I mean, how is that possible? 400,000. Fuck! And, you know, this guy did a couple of 30-day 30, 30 stints in jail, which for a minor court-martial is like the maximum punishment. They send you over to the local county jail who they have an a agreement with. And you do 30 days in there, civilian jail. And then he gets kicked out. And a few years ago, he hits me up on Facebook, just out of nowhere. I'm like, yo, what's up, Ewald? How you doing? You staying out of trouble? He's like, yep, I'm staying out of trouble. I said, oh, really? Yeah, okay. And then like five minutes later, I see him post on his wall, And you know how you can, um, like, tag yourself in a location. So I see Michael Ewald is at Van Zandt County Courthouse. (laughs) Like, seriously. (laughs) Two minutes after he said he's not in trouble anymore, he's he's posting from a court appearance. Jesus Christ, man. I always say, you can't make these fucking people up. Really. I don't even know if Ewald is still alive, but, uh, yeah, (laughs) that is the story of Ewald, the great Michael Ewald, what a guy, what a fucking guy.